Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this audio, we will discuss about Oracle Database RMAN Restore Windows to Linux, which means we have successful backup of Windows through RMAN and we want to restore it to Linux. First step take proper backup with RMAN cold or hot as you like as this is about restore process so we will focus on restore database now in windows database steps to follow put the database to mounted mode select status from v instance by like this you can see create file p file dot or from sp file now run rman backup and transfer the files created in the backup folder you specified in the rman to linux check file id and path of data files in windows so you know which files and how many files are existed now create init file for new database sample is given you can create your own uh, init file or you can copy if you have the init file of the database in windows you can copy same but you have to change all the parameter values as per your requirement more especially uh, file destination control files because it ma uh, mentioned the path so you have to change the path because in linux path is different make sure that all parameters you have changed accordingly okay and then step 4 create sp file from p file start up the instance with no mount mode in linux now you will do the steps start up no mount restore first step is to restore control file from backup taken in windows you can connect uh, rman like uh, target slash and then it will be connected to your current database if you are in same server if you are not in same server then you have to mention the tns name and everything restore control file from you have to give path where you copy all the backup and then the control file backup name mount the database or the database mount as you know that as of now the files of db redo log temp are recorded in the control file as windows path to restore you need to catalog the backup location in rman catalog start with slash the path of backup so it will be catalogued and easy to access by rman it will ask you do you really want to control the above files catalog the above files enter yes or no to so type yes and continue now prepare script like write uh, write like a batch run brackets middle brackets allocate channel you have to allocate one two three or four however you like channels then set new names for data file how many data files uh, you know as you uh, run the select statement in windows database to see the data files so you have to mention here new name for all data files with the path with linux path this command will copy the files in this location okay then next restore database switch data file all recover database for cold backup no need for this line and if this is cold backup then no need for this line release then you have to release the channels how many you created above then exit after the restore done proceed to open reset logs alter database open reset logs at this stage the redo log and temp file is not in appropriate location which you can see by running below queries 
you can query vlog file vtemp file to see their location sql activities now open sql plus and then ssdba and then you can run queries like vlog v dollar logs to see uh, which log files are active what is, what are their status and you can see the members of the log and their destination you can see destination is okay as the data files for the redo logs are pointing towards the windows file system we need to recreate redo log files for linux environment prior that we will try to drop those redo log groups which are inactive in our case redo log group 3 is the one active hence one two should be available to be dropped alter database drop log file group one database altered if you try to drop log group two which is active actually so system will give you error or a zero one five six seven as minimum two redo log files are required for the instance so dropping redo log group two fails in our case so we will add more redo groups to the database we will add with alter database add log file group 4 add group 5 and 6 as well so now try to drop the redo log file group 2 it will be altered can we drop the redo log group 3 finally no it will give error 01623 we cannot drop the redo group 3 because it is being the current redo group for the database. We cannot switch the log file group because the database is not open. All the database switch log file, it will show you error. We cannot rename the redo log group members because the file names are not recognized by the Linux environment. So alter database rename file to new path and it will show you error as well 01511 though we know the database cannot be opened let us give it an attempt all the database open reset logs it will show you error so expected we will proceed to next step shut down immediate database was not open so instance will be down database will be dismounted and then start up no mount and then alter database mount we will trace the current control file to a readable format now alter database backup control file to trace as we will specify the path where we want to make the control file dot trc now shut down immediate start the database in no mount state so that we can try to create a fresh control file for the database using no reset logs copy and paste the create control file segment from the control file trace correct all the paths for all files in control file do not forget to remove the lines pointing towards redo log files from linux environment now start up no mount so next attempt we will try to create the control file using reset logs create control file reuse database database name then reset logs archive log control file will be created alter database open reset logs now database is altered so we will shut down again properly and start up as a normal create temporary table space temp file with the linux path temp01 size whatever you can you can give whatever you like you like but here we will give small size there is reason for that you will see next alter database default temporary table space temp01 we make it default which we created now now we can drop the temp table space like drop table space temp including contents and data files because it was having wrong path windows path so create temporary table space temp temp file temp02 size 200 m table space created alter database default temporary table space temp because default was temp01 so we created temp again after dropping it with the correct path and now we are making 
temp as a default. Now you may drop the temp 01 table space and contents once after a shutdown startup procedure. Now we will attempt to change the database ID, database name for the database, shutdown immediate, startup mount and exit. So we will connect to SQL as STBA, startup no mount, create SP file from P file, then shutdown immediate, startup no mount, alter system set DB name, DB underscore name equals Linux DB or whatever you like scope sp file now to take it impact in the database we have to restart again so we have to shut down and start up alter database open reset logs start a mount and then open with reset logs procedure is completed successfully here i uh, here i can give one tip when you will create uh, environment in linux you have to create all the folders required for the database like under Oracle home and under uh, Oracle uh, trace files uh, directory admin and whatever you have to create everything so my suggestion is you can do one thing you can create one uh, database simple by very simple way simple uh, minor options just create a simple database and then shut it down now you have all the files all the folders are created just remove the database files and remove the init.ora files uh, from the uh, path where all uh, init.ora and password and uh, lk log file are password files are there, remove those files and you can copy your files from Windows database but init file you have to change then you, uh, when you will restore and you will connect to this database everything will be fine as restore will bring automatically uh, data, uh, data files in the folder you specified. So it is the simplest way otherwise it will be also easy if you create folders by yourself Hopefully this will help you to restore in Linux. It is very easy. It is not that difficult. It is and nearly same to restore to Windows as previous uh, I had uploaded. Hope, hopefully it will help you. Any questions? Any questions and queries are welcome. We will answer them. Thank you very much for listening. I will come up with some very uh, important video again. Till then. And the office. Bye.